Today, I bring incredible news from the automotive world. Elon Musk, the visionary CEO of Tesla, surprises once again by revealing a possible ammonia-powered engine for Tesla vehicles. Yes, you heard it right. And according to Musk, this innovation promises to completely change the current automotive industry. Elon Musk, always surprising. The master of innovation, who has accustomed us to the electric car revolution, now leaves us speechless once again. Instead of following the beaten path of advancements in electric batteries, Tesla is placing its bets on an ammonia-powered engine. That's right, ammonia. But wait a minute, why on earth is Elon thinking this unexpectedly? Well, to understand this change, we need to look beyond the obvious. The electric vehicle industry has been dominated by batteries and electric motors, with Tesla at the forefront. But Musk is known for thinking ahead, and perhaps he has envisioned something that others haven't seen yet. Let's get to the facts. Ammonia, as a hydrogen compound, has a remarkably higher energy density than hydrogen gas. This means that an ammonia-powered engine could potentially offer greater range than traditional combustion engines without the dreaded emissions of gasoline or diesel. It sounds like science fiction, right? But in fact, it's a bet on a powerful chemistry that could revolutionize the way we see cars. And don't think this is just Elon's daydream. Researchers have been exploring ammonia as a viable energy source. A study from the University of Oxford, for example, highlighted the high energy density of ammonia and its capacity to be produced from renewable sources. This could signify a masterstroke towards sustainability, something that has always been on Musk's radar. Now, what does this mean for the automotive industry? Well, just imagine, companies that, until now, were trying to catch up with Tesla in the electric race, such as Ford, GM, and even the luxurious Porsche and BMW, might be wondering if they are heading in the right direction. After all, Tesla, which led the electric revolution, is now leaving the traditional track and entering uncharted territory. It's a risky bet, but if there's someone who can turn an innovative idea into reality, that someone is Elon Musk. Are we about to witness another automotive revolution? That's the lingering question, my dear friends. This potential shift in strategy from Tesla is not just a turnaround for the company itself, it's an earthquake in the electric vehicle industry. Companies that poured billions into electric infrastructure and technology may feel the ground shaking beneath them. Let's think about this for a moment. Automotive giants like Ford, GM, and Volkswagen invested heavily in electric charging networks, high-capacity batteries, and cutting-edge technology to align with the growing demand for electric vehicles. Even countries, like Norway, placed big bets, making electric cars an overwhelming majority in new car sales. However, Tesla's move towards an ammonia-powered engine jeopardizes all the infrastructure geared towards electric vehicles. Electric charging stations, which have become so common in our cities, may now find themselves challenged by a potential demand for ammonia refueling stations. It's like building incredible bridges, and then someone comes along saying that now everyone wants to travel by balloon. And this doesn't only impact car manufacturers and technology companies. Imagine the impact on battery companies, which saw a steep increase in sales due to the growing demand for electric vehicles. Companies focused on hydrogen fuel cell technology, like plug power, may now be rubbing their hands together, while those specializing in lithium-ion batteries, like Panasonic, may be feeling the pressure. To get a more realistic perspective, a recent study by Bloomberg NEF pointed out that, by 2040, we could have over 500 million electric cars on the roads. But that was before Tesla shook things up with ammonia. Will these predictions now need a profound revision? That's the question I pose to you. Leave your opinions down in the comments. And if we think about the geopolitical scenario, countries that bet on electric vehicles may be reconsidering their strategies. Norway, for example, leading the way in terms of electric vehicle adoption, may be taking a pause to think about how this would affect its policies and investments. It's not just a change in product, it's a paradigm shift. After all, building an ammonia refueling infrastructure is not like installing more electrical outlets. There are logistical, safety, and even public acceptance challenges, as people have become accustomed to the comfort and familiarity of electric charging stations. And now, the big question hangs in the air. Will companies invest more in electric infrastructure or start exploring the possibilities of ammonia? The world of electric vehicles is at a crossroads, and the answer could shape the future of mobility. 
We are on the brink of a revolution, my friends, and I can't wait to see how it unfolds. Now, not everything is rosy on this uncharted path of ammonia as fuel for vehicles. While Elon Musk smiles with his possible new engine, there are skeptical voices and challenges that we cannot ignore. Here are the criticisms and mountains to climb in this unknown territory. Firstly, the lack of infrastructure for ammonia refueling is a critical point. Think about it. We are already used to seeing electric charging stations scattered around. But what about ammonia refueling stations? It would be like having an amazing car but no pump to refuel. A recent study revealed that, so far, there are very few ammonia refueling facilities worldwide. In other words, there's a long way to go to compete with the convenience of electric charging. Safety concerns are also on the lips of critics. Ammonia is a potentially hazardous chemical compound, and its handling requires extra precautions. If it leaks, it can pose risks to the environment and people. It's like switching from an electric kettle to a chemistry experiment. The consequences of a spill are much more serious. Furthermore, the ammonia production process is notably energy-intensive. Ammonia doesn't appear magically, it needs to be manufactured. A study from Stanford University showed that ammonia production, especially on a large scale, can require a significant amount of energy. So, are we really reducing our carbon footprint? Or are we just transferring the concern from one place to another? And, of course, the question everyone is asking, is ammonia really the future? Studies indicate that, although ammonia has potential, the development of this technology is still in its early stages. Concerns have been raised about the lack of regulations, standards, and practical experience in using ammonia as a fuel. It's uncharted territory, and like any new technology, there is resistance and uncertainties. But hold on, we're talking about Elon Musk. He has already surprised us with electric cars, underground tunnels, and space travel. Is ammonia just another challenge for him to conquer? It's a fascinating uncertainty that only time will reveal. What do you think? According to Tesla's genius himself, ammonia could be the key to making vehicles truly carbon neutral. It's as if Musk is offering us a glimpse of a world where we drive without harming the planet. But, of course, there's always a price to pay and questions to be asked. Firstly, Musk's statement is not just a burst of optimism. Researchers at the University of Cambridge conducted a study highlighting ammonia as a potentially sustainable fuel source. The possibility of producing ammonia from renewable sources could indeed give this fuel a green shine. Elon Musk is not just aiming at already developed countries with their electric charging stations. He raises the flag of ammonia's versatility, suggesting that it could be adopted in developing countries. Imagine a scenario where ammonia-powered cars are not an exclusive feature of large metropolises but rather an affordable solution for communities worldwide. It's an ambitious vision, but we can't deny that ammonia offers a more inclusive method of transportation. However, as in any journey into the unknown, there are crucial questions. The first one, environmental risks. While Musk emphasizes the reduced carbon footprint of ammonia, critics point to potential leakage dangers. Studies highlight the toxicity of ammonia, indicating that exposure to high concentrations can be harmful to human health and the environment. And we have to address the issue of noise. One of the advantages of electric vehicles is their silent operation, but ammonia-powered engines don't share this characteristic. They produce noise during combustion, adding a sonic element to the mobility equation. After all, do we want to trade the smooth sound of an electric vehicle for the distinctive roar of an ammonia-powered engine? Do you want that? For Musk, the shift to ammonia may be more than just a move in the automotive industry. With his background at SpaceX, he is well aware of ammonia being used as a potential fuel for rockets. This raises the intriguing question of whether there is a broader strategy at play, where ammonia not only powers our cars but also our space aspirations. As we await more information on the development of this narrative, I want to hear from you in the comments. Is ammonia the key to a more sustainable future of mobility? Or are we just risking exchanging one set of challenges for another? I'll be signing off here. And if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel to not miss the upcoming updates and continue exploring the latest news, analyses, and curiosities in the automotive world with us. Leave a like if you enjoyed the content, share your opinions and suggestions in the comments, and hit the notification bell to stay informed firsthand. I appreciate your company, and until the next video, see you soon. Thank you.
Thank you.